Sime is here and welcome to the aisle. We've got a busy day today because there was a patch this morning and we have two new animals to take a look at. The first one we're going to be checking out today is the Sucomimus. Let's see, are there any other skins? No. So we're just going to go ahead and start it up. Kind of like a deformed Gallimimus, actually. So let's take a little look here. The red default skin is a little bit different from Norm. It's actually uh, pretty nice. I like it. So this guy seems pretty slow. Let's see about trotting a little bit faster. about a little spring. This is a noisy guy, isn't he? bit of stand back. Look at those teeth, man. I wouldn't want to get on the wrong side of those. Right, so let's do a sound check before we get too much further in. So this is sound one. This is a bug, but I can't um, exit out of the game. I can't tab out while I'm playing it, so I can't adjust my volume. It's kind of irritating. It's one of those little things that's not a problem until it is, basically. That's a rock. Stamina seems to go down pretty fast. It does on all of them, anyway. Just sticking through the terrain there like nobody's business.
close enough. Alright. Let us continue on the journey of the Suko Minus. It does seem like animals are being added pretty rapidly right now, which I think is fine. Uh, it's good to have a nice variety. Especially since there's really not much else in here right now. So we can spend some time exploring and playing with all these different animals. For some reason it is pretty rare in games that you actually get to play as an animal. Usually you have to, you're either riding it or being chased by it. So it's a nice change of pace. Stand. I know you can trot. Why trot when you can run, right? I think the uh, night ambience was something that I read that they had worked on. Uh, you can definitely tell there's some good ambient noise going, aside from just other people making lots of noise with their dinosaurs. So that's good. I guess we will just trot for a little while. The server was basically full when I joined it, but it seems a little empty in this area, and I'm not really sure where everybody congregates, aside from, I know there's some giant lakes around, I have no idea where they are, so let's just roam. I received a group invite, uh, unfortunately, since we don't on playing this for too long, I'm not going to accept it, uh, because basically as soon as we die in this video, we're switching over to the other new animal, the Ankylosaurus, which will be pretty cool. Uh, I am excited to test that one out. Ankies are pretty lethal looking dinosaurs, and the one in Ark is definitely not something to be trifled with. So we're not going to spend a whole lot of time on any individual animal. At least not until there's a little bit more going on. I do know 
that I probably should spend some time just, um... Okay, we didn't break our legs, so maybe that's been adjusted a little bit. But I really should try to get a better idea of the map. Uh, if I knew basically where to go, we'd have a higher chance of finding other people. I'm probably going in the opposite direction of where we want to go, but that's okay. This is really just a test to uh, get a look at the sky and maybe get into some combat. I'm hoping that we can find somebody to take a little nibble. Anyways, otherwise we might actually starve to death or die of thirst. In case you wanted to know what it would feel like to be stepped on by one of these. In case you're wondering, I do get horribly lost in all games, not just this one. Uh, I have no sense of direction whatsoever. I usually just pick a direction and run in that direction until something happens. Not always a good plan. Hills are apparently an insurmountable obstacle, unless I'm at the, like, the world barrier. You can't actually tell, because it doesn't tell you if you're there. Alright, so let's try going this way, I guess. like the outlands where people go to die or what?
definitely seems like we're at the barrier. there. Maybe we can get a better look on this direction. I do hope what they do is add some NPC animals in. Uh, I know there's a ton of playable ones at all sizes, but it's just, it's really bare right now, and it would be kind of cool just for atmosphere if you had like some pteranodons of some sort. Even if you can't interact with them, if they're just flying around in the middle of the sky or something. Just to add a little bit of visual interest while you're off on your lonesome journeys through the jungles and hills of the isle. Stuff like that. So maybe I wasn't as far off course as I thought. Uh, I still don't want to sprint just yet. Do Looks like it's more around this direction, maybe? I feel like changing directions constantly is a bad idea that's not really gonna serve any purpose, but we're gonna try. I do need to find somebody to eat, so we are gonna have to kinda get a move on. my chief complaint. It's kind of ridiculous that it's almost impossible to scale even small hills. Like, it's a dinosaur. They're practically ATVs.
pretty sure I did go basically as far away as you can get from everybody else. Completely unintentional on my part. Which is unfortunate, because uh, I get the feeling that we're probably going to starve to death before we find anything. Unless we're lucky enough that somebody else did the exact same thing and that it's just like a raptor or... ...or something. any snacks or water. I almost feel like without a map, this is almost too big. Unless you really, really know the terrain very well, you are going to have a hard time getting around. so bad if there were, instead of lakes, there were also some rivers or something, or even just an occasional puddle of water. Uh, I would assume if or when they add weather effects, that would probably be somewhere on the list. That's what I would do anyway. somebody Got a buddy. 
I have no idea where to go though, so hopefully they know where they're going and we can just kind of follow them. I can't tell though, they might be stuck. They're either stuck or they're just as lost as I am, which is not the least bit entertaining. So we're gonna chill out here for a minute and see what happens. But at least I found somebody. This map is kind of big, so... They're going somewhere, so let's follow them. I'll be friends, even though they're going in the way that I just came from, and there was nothing there. But maybe they know something that I don't. If they don't, uh, I'll just have to eat them when I get hungry enough. A little bit mean, but that's the law of the jungle. something to this whole pack thing. Except that I, I'm pretty sure they don't know where they're going either, so we're probably kind of screwed here, but that's okay. really talking much today. I am just super tired right now. Um, actually couldn't sleep and ended up waking up super duper early. Now it's mid-afternoon where I am and I'm just kind of... I wish it was nap time. But in the land of the isle, you nap and you die. we take here are dirt naps. Yeah, this guy must be lost as well. Because this is literally the way that we came and we hit the uh, edge of the map. find too much else around here right now. It's finally getting bright. 
I think, uh, sorry new friend, but I think we're gonna end this here. Uh, unfortunately, I wasn't able to find anybody to snack on, so... I guess if you want to see how this thing does in combat, you're going to have to hop in the game and do it yourself. For now, thank you all for joining me, and I will see you all in the next episode.